YouTube, I finally did it. What you do? I've made the best ISO lockdown hybrid defender build on NBA 2K24. What? He can literally do everything. That's what every YouTuber says. Yes, that's true, but let me just show you. I'm getting on that rim. I'm cooking up. Hit him with the L2 cancel into the burn up. Ooh. And speaking of burn up, I got people thinking I have a zen because I'm shooting so good. And, and this guy has a fucking zen, bro. Yo, Chai, y'all can't tell me this is not a fucking zen, bro. Yo, weak ass got a zen. Ain't nobody falling for that dumb ass shit. He said I got a zen. I'm dead. Oh, you thought that was it? Just look at the defense. I'm running pockets. Let me get that. I'm out here stopping Yo. post scores. Stop that. And we're on our goat shit. Blocked by James. And what's crazy, that this build is a point guard. Man, stop lying. Yes. So I'm about to put y'all on to the best ISO lockdown build on NBA 2K24. Let's burn up. Yes, man, it really is me. Who? Me is so. AKA the instant burner, man. And just like y'all seeing on intro clips, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite build in NBA 2K24. Pretty much an ISO lockdown build, my hybrid lockdown defender. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be able to do everything with this build. You know, this is no clickbait. And I wanted to give you guys some gameplay before we got into the build, just so you know that I'm not being fraudulent. First play, we get the, hey, we get straight on the rim. And you see, we have all of fame physical handles so it lets you know that the build is big body it has a lot of strength so you go ahead and lay the ball right there and my aim for this build i wanted a build that could pretty much do everything and play good against comes with the l2 cancel into the burn up let me go ahead and get a burn up in the comment section also, if you guys love catfish types of builds, you're gonna love this build right here, bro. Cause no hyper defender is moving the way I am. Look how I just go right past him. And you know what I'm saying? We back on that rack. You feel me? No build is moving like this. It's a hyper defender, bro. You're gonna be catching a lot of people off guard, bro. Especially how burly he is, bro. Like, bro, he is moving again. We just step him back. And that's another flame burn up. I'm telling y'all. I might have broke the build with how versatile this build is. And if you're new to the channel, you're gonna wanna subscribe to because my next video is gonna be me showing off the jumper. So you make sure to click on that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell and make sure it's on all because you're not gonna wanna miss that. Just like you're not gonna miss anything when it comes to that rim as we end up getting back on that rack. Ooh, that bar is good. We'll go ahead and step back right here. He's playing it. But not good enough. Oh no, you trash. Well, we trash. ended up missing this shot. I don't know how I missed that shot. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I felt like I had that one. But not all missed shots are bad. Now you guys are gonna get to see really, really where this build strives, and that's really on the defense of side. Oh my god, the bars just come today. As you see right here, bro, he's moving decently. And I'm stride for stride with him because this build is just so fast. And nope. this build has hella interior defense, as you see right there. I don't even have to jump. You're going to get a lot of great contests in the paint because I have a 90 interior on this build. And it's going to give you a better chance when you still play against those meter dunking demons right there. I just took the wrong angle. I thought I played the right angle, but I didn't. So he was able to slither right in there. But yeah, this build is great for those cheesy builds that you play in the stage um and when it comes to this build this build is pretty much going to be just a template as you see i get another stop without jumping in the paint when i say template bro when it comes to builds bro you can ultimately make the build how you want to make it i took a bad shot right there you know what I'm, saying? I'm not really worried because i know i'm just going to get unlimited stops with this build but when i like i said when i say template i mean you can make the build the way you want to. You don't have to make it exactly the way I made my build. This is just a blueprint. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like you need more shooting, if you feel like you need more or less defense, you can do that with the build. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be straight with this build. But like I said, though, this build already is damn near perfect. As again, he tries to get into the paint. You're not scoring on this build with not the interior. But we're back to cooking up on the island. Right here, we just go right around him. We play around with it and hug. He's hanging all on me. 
and we're still able to dunk that ball. Come on, man. This build is so fun. I, I'm telling y'all, YouTube, this build is so oh. fun. But right there, I just ended up making the wrong play, the wrong behind the back. Shouldn't have did that. Should have just went ball in and kept going. But I wanted to just have a little bit of fun. You feel me? me again, that. I don't even have to jump again. He tried to scoop me and another stop in the paint. He ends up getting the ball back, though, but he's already gassed. He's popped. So we're just going to sit in the paint. And he tries to float it up. We go ahead and get the rebound. We're going to go ahead and just go ahead and try to get this guy up out of here now, man. That's enough playing for the video. We go right around him. Hey, we're back meeting on the rim. And the score is 20 to 4. You know, wasn't much pressure from this guy. He ends up just quitting because he know he's just no match for this ISO lockdown defender. All right, burn again. Now let's go ahead and get into the build. Uh, for the position, you gotta make this build either point guard or shooting guard. You can't make him a small forward because your ball handling will just be too low and you won't be able to get some of the good dribble moves. So you wanna make him either one. Doesn't really matter. Me, I went with a point guard. We went with the height. We went with a 6'7". I know a lot of you guys like the 6'8s. The 6'7s is just better. Uh, they move faster. You can get better dribble moves on them. You know, and you can get gold playmaking badges and stuff. You just can't get that when it comes to the 6'8". So in my opinion, the 6'7 is just better. Um, with the weight, when we went, when we went big body, as you've seen, you're still gonna be able to move pretty, pretty fast. But the reason I made him with so much weight is I went with 223 is because I wanted to get burly. I figured out when you, even though it looks weird, like I said, when you have burly, you get more bumps. You get more bumps on defense. So we went with 223 to make sure we get that. We wanted this build to be able to, I forgot to tell y'all earlier, my goal with this build was to make him so he could pretty much play everything. You know, I can play the ones in the stage, I can play I can play the theater, I can go against, you know what I'm saying, get decently stops against these post scores. I wanted to be able, and still have fun on the build. So that was my whole goal of this build. Um, and to get some contest on some of these post scores and stuff like that, I maxed out the wingspan. Yeah, it's still gonna be good, you're still gonna be great, but that's what we went with. We're gonna start with the physicals first. We went, we went with the speed. We put the speed to a 84, but it's still 84. Like I said, you're gonna be moving pretty, pretty fast on this build. Um, with the acceleration, we put that to a 73. You're gonna have to have that to a 73 because to get your blow buys, your speed booster, and that stuff up, as you're gonna see later in this video. Um, and just a word of advice, if you don't wanna make the build exactly how I wanna make the build, like I said, this is a template, but if you wanna make the builds fast, you wanna have either your speed or your acceleration up, just one or the two up, um, if you wanna make your builds fast. Um, me personally, I like on these bigger builds, the ones build, I just go ahead and put the speed up and not worry too much about the LCL acceleration you will still be fast on these bills with the strength what we went with we went with an 84 i have a lot of i know some of y'all might say bro it's not enough strength look bro i have a lot of bills with 90 plus strength and this bill has 84 strength <laughs> it's sad but i don't really see a difference like that especially when these post scores are backing me down they back me down so easy when i had 90 plus strength i was like bro is it even worth me having all that strength you know what i'm saying i could have saved some of them points so with this build i actually tested it out just to show it just to you know try lower strength and i don't see a difference like that bro so on this one it is an 84 you want to make sure it is an 84 though because you want to so you can get your bulldozer on silver you'll be able to get your immovable forcer on silver um with the vertical you gotta put the vertical to a 74 what you're gonna the reason you're gonna put that at a 74 is so later you'll see so i can get my chase down and my anchor up um with the stamina we just went ahead and maxed that out now let's go and get into the bread and butter where this build really strides and that is on defense on defense what I went with, like I said, I want to have a chance against these post scores. So I went OD and put my interior up to a 90. If you don't want to put your interior up to a 90, you can still put it up to an 88. Um, that will still give you post lockdown on goal. Post lockdown pretty much is when you're playing post scores so they can't spin off you when they're backing you down. If you have it on silver, you'll get a decent amount of stops, but it's not going to be consistent. It's still going to roll off you and just push you into the ground a lot of the times, bro. That's just an easy score. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you only got a limited amount of possession you want to try to help yourself out so at least if i was you guys at least go to 88 you know what I'm saying? i just wanted you know how 2k is i just wanted a different threshold you know what i'm saying the, you know the 85 the 90 90 95 just i just wanted a different threshold so i wanted the 90 threshold that's why i went with 90 on the bill 
perimeter defense. What we went with, we went with an 87. What an 87 is going to do, it's going to give you challenger own goals. So you don't have to guard people too, too close. And you're still going to get a decent contest on those guys. And you're still going to have silver clamps, which is more than enough when you're playing the ones. Um, still, we went, we went with OD. Um, we went with a 91. Reason I did that, man, it gives you gold glove, gold interceptor, which I don't need, and it gives you the big one, the biggest one that you guys don't know about, and that is right stick ripper on gold. Um, when you're getting cooked or when you're playing these post scores that like to do the cheese in the paint where they do the triple threat, you can steal the ball off them when they, when they go into the triple threat if you use the right stick to steal the ball. And the re another reason why I like to put my steal so high is so if I'm getting cooked, you know, sometimes you just get cooked. You can't stop the guy. You have a chance. Your last resort is reaching. You know what I'm saying? You can reach and maybe get that steal. So you don't want to put your steal down. I mean, 85 is, it was at 85? Yeah, 85 is okay, but I just feel like you get more steals. You got a better chance when you put it to a, at least a 91. Um, With the block, with the block by James, we put that at an 87. Um, that's gonna give you silver anchor, pogo stick on silver, and chase down block by James on silver. Um, and I have other builds where my block was like an 81. I didn't really like it, just for the simple fact. I just I felt like I didn't get the amount of blocks that I should have got on the build. I rarely got blocks at an 81 compared to an 87. It is a big, big difference. So with the defensive rebound, we put that at a 60. What that's gonna do is gonna give you rebound chaser on bronze, which is more than enough when you're playing on the ones for me. Um, so no, let's go ahead and move on to the ball handler. What you want to go with? You want to go with an 86 on a build. You want to go with 86 because it's going to get allow you to get um, Kimball Walker Escape, which is the best escape in the game. That's why I told y'all earlier, you want to go with 6'7 instead of 6'8. Six, 6'8, eight. Six, eight, the max you can get on your ball handling is an 85. And you won't be able to get that escape on the game. So you want to go with an 86 speed with ball. What we went, we went with a 75. What that's going to do, it's going to give you silver blow by, silver speed booster, and hyperdrive on silver, which is more than enough. Like I said, on the ones, you're going to be still, boom, as y'all seen, moving around that court. Um, pass accuracy, I didn't put any on this build. Um, like I said, if you want to use this build for more than one thing, you're going to have to switch a couple things up. But me personally, I hate to say this. I'm kind of ashamed even saying this, but I have nine builds on this game. I have nine builds on this game. So I have multiple ones builds, including this one. I have multiple twos builds. I have multiple threes builds. Like I have so many builds. So I don't really have to make this build to play everything. But I do have a build that can play everything. If y'all want that video, put all around in the comment section but i do have a build that can that can do that if y'all want that um but that's it for that what you went with on this build what i went with i maxed out my three pointer to a 79 um and with my mid range i put that to an 87 i went with an 87 because 87 unlocks the best base for taller builds on the game and that is tracy mcgrady you want to be able to get that base because it is the least contested base on the game as y'all singing bro even with a 79 three ball it didn't matter for me. I, you still could not stop me from shooting that ball. And I'm shooting high 60s with a 79 three ball. It doesn't matter. It's really about the base and if you can shoot, boost, and stuff like that. So you're going to be fine with the shooter. So pretty, uh, please, if you're looking at this video, don't worry about it. And like I told y'all earlier, I'm going to be dropping that the video for the jump shot that I use on this build just to make sure that you guys get the most out of this build. Um, now let's move on to the finisher. If you really want to save points on your finishing, um, you know, I'm an OG. I like to get on that rim. You really want to make your build with standing dunk. Standing dunk does not cost as much as driving dunk, and you're still going to be consistently dunking at the rim, which y'all seen earlier. So what I went with on this build, I went with, hold on, let me put this down. I went with a 84. I went with an 84. And what that's going to do, precision dunk on silver, fast twitch, which is very important. When somebody flies by you, you can just go ahead and go right up and dunk the ball and you rise up on silver. Um, like I said, you're going to be able to dunk consistently and fast with this build. And what you got to do when y'all, if y'all make this build exactly like this, when you're upgrading your finishing, make sure when you upgrade your standing dunk that you upgrade your driving dunk at the same time because this is where i messed up at i i upgraded my standing dunk all the way up 
and my dude would not dunk. I'm like, bro, I'm about to delete the build. Like, I got this all this standing dunk, and he just would not dunk. And the reason is, it's weird with 2K this year. You have to also upgrade your driving dunk too for him to dunk the ball, which is I don't I don't know what that is. But once you upgrade that, he will start dunking the ball damn near every time, just like y'all seen earlier. Uh, driving layup, we're not trying to lay the ball up at all, as you guys know. So I got a 66 on that, or close shot 57. We're not worried about that. We're trying to dunk that ball when we get in there. And I think we have one more action. We just put that right there on the feet throw. So that's pretty much the build. Then when you're done, you're gonna have some great, great company. You're gonna be accompanied by this, the runner up in the MVP conversation, Mr. SGA, Lonzo Ball, and an all time great Jason Kidd. So it lets you know how great this build is. As you see, it is a hybrid lockdown defender. So that's it for the video today, guys. Y'all let me know, is this build a W or an L? Again, don't forget to like of the video and subscribe if you're new. And y'all already know who it is. Burn up.